Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and I'm here today in Scottsdale, Arizona at Bear Arms, taking a look at one of the guns that they have in their reference collection, specifically an STG-77, or a Steyr AUG, or Steyr AUG, depending on uh, how you prefer to pronounce it. This was a rifle developed in Austria in the early 1970s to replace the existing STG-58s, basically the FN-FAL, uh, which Austria had adopted. So what Austria was doing here was uh, going from a very traditional style of rifle at that time, obviously it's not quite a, a you know, a, st a straight wood stock, but we're going from a, a 7.62 NATO caliber long, heavy battle rifle to the more modern concept of an intermediate assault rifle. And the AUG often gets a lot of credit for being sort of the first in this in this area with a lot of its features, but I wouldn't entirely say that's true. Uh, what it was, absolutely, is one of this pack of uh, an interesting batch of guns from a sort of a transitional period. So in the late 1970s, it was of course adopted in 77, I believe the first deliveries were in 78. Uh, it, it has, it's a very futuristic looking gun, and in this way it's very similar to a couple others of the time. Of course uh, it's a bullpup, it has an integrated optic, and the British were doing a very similar thing with the SA-80 that would come a couple years later. Um, SA-80 was in development for quite a long time, and had it gone as planned, it would have been in service at the same time as the AUG. And then of course the French uh, introduced the FAMAS in 1979, so basically exactly at the same time as this. Both of those guns have uh, heavy use of polymer, they're 5.56 caliber, but not using M16 magazines in either case. Uh, the Austrians were a little bit farther ahead of the curve with an integrated optic, where the French still used iron sights on the FAMAS. Um, but you have a lot of a lot of these futuristic elements uh, in the guns at the same time. So the AUG actually uses a substantial amount of polymer, more than you might expect, and we'll take a look at that in just a moment when we take it apart. But uh, at any rate, in the, it was adopted in '77. Uh, the initial order was for like 80,000 of the guns. It is still to this day the Austrian combat rifle, although that may change at some point here. Uh, but uh, actually, I think that's pretty much all the background on it that I really need to give you. Uh, let's go ahead and take this apart. There are a number of interesting things about how it works. 